Today, in Arena, we play the Rogue, which after the balanced micro adjustments, Mage has plummeted in win rate, and Rogue is one of the top classes. Excellent! The Madman! Now is the time. We begin with the massive value of Cursed Vagrant. Into good old Cat. Hmm, smug Senior. I will smugly take that value. Uh, Rocket Dog Merchant. Dog Merchants are great. Ooh, Wand Thief. Look at that Discover value. Shifty Sophomore's value. Soldier of Fortune or Fana Knives. I think it's really close. I have a small preference, self preference for Fana Knives. Uh, Hailbringer value. Scorpid value. I think Scorpid is more value than Candletaker. Scorpid's insane. Another Vagrant. Okay. It's a lot of value. Uh, Jar Dealer. That kind of covers the three drop slot. I like it. Dragon Maw Sky Stalker is a lot of value. You might notice I like value. Spy Mistress covers the three spot a little. Also one. Perdition's Blade covers the three drop spot. Also best card. Bow Fiend, excellent card. Sneaky Delinquent, excellent card. Pit Crocolisk is some end game value versus the Og Merchant of early game value. I don't really see much uh, benefit to Divine Shield on my stuff. Vile Fiend is about it. All my other stuff takes too much damage. I'm gonna go Pit Crocker. Uh, there's a Candle Taker, glad to pick that up. Fishy Flyer, I like a lot for the value. Scavenging Shavar, if I think my deck falls behind, is an excellent pick. I believe my deck right now is a mid rangey deck. It's got plays on all the manas, so I can't count on being behind for Shavara. So I should probably choose the always, you know, always reasonable fishy flyer. I'll choose the flyer. Uh, Hippo. I don't believe I have very many spells in this deck. The scribe. Uh, another vile fiend. These are some high quality picks. Uh, deadly Poison... Holy Wisps win rate! Okay, so this is high variance. No one picks Wisps, so... Apparently the only people who pick Wisp are the people who really know what they're doing. Uh, anyways, where was I? It's time for Deadly Poison. These cards are all actually really interesting. I do have a number of things I would like to give Rush to. The endgame stuff. Like, a lot of this stuff is good with Rush. Uh, I'll go Broom. Overconfident Orcs, a great card. Uh, another Candle Taker, nice. Twin Tyrant, that card's pretty good out here. Backstab is pretty sweet. Wretched Tutor is okay. I believe in this deck I will tend not to be behind. I've got decent curves, so I don't believe I actually want Wretched Tutor. I also don't have very many spells. Yeah, Wand Thief, but whatever. I don't believe I'm going to be behind with this deck. I think I have enough late game. So, last pick. Ambush or Delinquent? Ambush consistently has a higher win rate, and I think I just go off of that. The two cards I think are pretty similarly powered, but Ambush just seems like a uh, it's a little bit better all the time. Ben, wow, I can kind of see why Rogue is strong. Got offered a lot of high quality cards. The worst card in this deck, it looks like, is Silver Moon Guardian. And it's like, okay, sure, I have one, you know, mediocre card in the deck. Everything else is pretty top notch. I expect to do great things with this deck. Except me. Ah. Justice. Do I like Scorpid so much that I'll keep it in my opening hand? Ooh, that is... That is close. If I had any 1, 2, or 3, I probably would have kept it. Slow hand. Let me work my magic. Magical. 
I actually have a few options here. Option one is to play Spy Mistress, would have loved to play her last turn instead. Option two is to dagger up and then poke the thing, follow up with Phantom Knives next turn. The dagger option makes me take six more damage and forces me into Phantom Knives on turn three. But otherwise on turn three I'll probably just use the hero power. I think both options are fairly bad. Uh, this is the hope I draw a three drop option, or a one drop and then I can dagger with it. Yeah, just um, not a great start. Justice is mine. At least the opponent looks like they're also not a great starting here. Let me work my magic. Fishy flyer value. I haven't seen Imp Master in forever. A place to hide. I'm gonna go with the stronger play first. I don't need the taunt. 3 plus 3 was actually a decent option too. It's a mix of a uh, taunt and a another play. No, that's not good. That's not great. He uses the dagger to poke out the health and then... The twin tyrant turn is going to be really good for me. That's about all I know right now. I'm actually pretty incentivized to play orc on the same turn as broomstick so I can get the three attack. I would rather not deal with the 7-5 uh, stealth, but not much I can do about it. Hmm. It's between Smug Hero Power and my own Vagrant. If I hit him to 17, then I have 13 damage on the board. I have a Taunt to follow up. I've got Twin Tyrant to follow up. I think I really want to trade the 5-3 into 7-5. Yeah, I get this feeling. And I believe I want to play Cursed Vagrant. And my health is too low to like hold this weapon. Trading lets me actually finish that thing with Twin Tyrant next time. Otherwise, things could have gotten really gnarly. Justice is mine. Gonna be doing trades that look pretty ugly. It gets me the board in a big way, but uh, the trades I have to make. You know, we're not too happy about that. Well, it's fine. I guess we'll go for the out value game. Hide behind my smug senior. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. Oh. 
Two, three, five, six. Briefly considered trading the seven five into the two one. Uh oh. Please no. Well played. Smart moves. I concede. Well played. Oof. Oh man, what a hand. In the shadows. Okay, this is one of the few ways to actually activate the spell burst. Let me consider my deck again. Nah. Missed too much damage by doing that. Uh, we do have one dragon in the deck, Twin Tyrant. Cool, that's a way to activate uh, Shifty Sophomore. Ooh. Impressive power turn. Uh, overloaded by a lot next turn. Uh, next turn I'm playing Perditions plus Deadly like almost always. What could be in here? I guess I'll stab him. This will deal um, 3 damage. Plus I'll probably have to manually attack that thing. Oh. Ooh, potion of illusion versus devolving missiles. I'm gonna go for the value choice here. I don't believe there's a clear cut choice uh, between these two. This would be a pretty good next turn though. Potion, Sophomore Thief. Wait, it's like a self-contained combo. Potioned. It gets the thingy. I don't know. It seemed like it kind of was a self-contained combo. Poke. Magic is not a toy. Do I want a full trade here? No. Look what I found. I don't think there's a three mana answer. I can't think of any. All right, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Take two. Sure, I could have devolving missiles and win the game, but potion of illusion. Look at all the value I'm about to get. What to do? little time. Gimme, gimme. Who's there? And poke. 
Cursed Vagrant. It kills you if you don't kill it, and then if you kill it, it kills you. Ah, what a pain. Get in your cage. Use my coin to pay off the shifty sophomore. Waiver win. Oh man, it's really good to use the coin on deadly poison right now, but that that basically wrecks me. I think it's still right. Very tempo. Basically, this will give me a one cost minion that'll still discover a spell. The spell can still feed in the sophomore. Uh, furthermore, even if none of that happens, I can just dagger on turn two. Not oh, turn three. Think that's the plan here. Just dagger. I don't consider a dagger to be that bad a move. Think they teach me. Ooh, that's pretty good. First time I've seen this card. Impelling can easily deal one damage, so I'm going to want to rush my orc. This is the turn that... okay. Hmm, big turn here. Sweep! Making a call if I would rather have a 1-1 one, one or be down 5 health. I think it's close. They will never catch me. I really want to cast the spell, but guess we won't. Log came. Eh. We lost that combo card of value. I think the only way I would possibly break apart my 7 and 8 drop would be if I drew Twin Tyrant and I played the other 8 drop instead. Uh, should I use the 5 7 to hit the 2 4? I think this is a value game. The 2 4 currently hits my 1 2. I don't want that to happen. And then do I want to trade off the Divine Shield with my 1-2? It's a pretty good deal on my side. Um, yeah. After looking at that play, I was like, I just auto-played that, but this wasn't a bad idea, considering I needed to do 1 damage. I still think the 7 drop is better. I just traded off the minion I was defending. Um, you know, you're actually right. I guess the 5-5 five five could have hit face. There is an argument to trump trade there even then though. The opponent has so much health that I, and I have a relatively less amount of health. One could argue it's good enough for the, whatchamacallit, peace of mind. 
There is something to be said about a peace of mind play. Like, I took two less damage, and right now I'm at 15 instead of 13. Though the opponent would be at 9. This deck isn't a control deck, which is true, so I do have to push the face damage when I can get it. It's a close call. It depends on, like, my hand and whatnot. Because I had the 7 drop and the 8 drop, I was like, okay. I feel like a peace of mind trade is worth it. We must cleanse the sun well. Here he comes. I think we're gonna have to trump trade even more now. So first, I want to see if I get a nice cheap spell. You're paying for my discretion. Yeah, this is cheap. I get to play the six drop with it. Let's see, my amount of damage on the board is 17, 19, 20, so, sure. He's got two 1-1 uh, one, one scarabs, which will take these two damages, so I have 19 damage. Even if he kills a 5 attack guy, I still have 14. Alright, it's Stalin Illidan. I have a uh, 17, one short. I think I would rather not take one damage. The name seems familiar. Different guy? Okay. Do I want to wait for the world where I get exactly ambush? No. Also, the mage could, uh, one thief could discover a mage secret, but nah, I'd rather have the one too. I think he doesn't have the mana to attack this turn. Even if he does, it's good to protect Spy Mistress. But this also kind of protects Overconfident Orc. Which is a substantially less good card if the opponent does one damage to it. I like to think they teach me. Take a bunch of damage for the tempo here. Justice is mine. Good Brutal tempo opening. You've got me fired up. There we go. Let's see. F three five eight nine twelve. Justice is yeah. Pow. You 
possess true power. Oh, went on turn six. Of course. For now. Hmm. Good hand, but wow, got even better. <laughs> I was like, good hand, but I wonder how I'm going to play it. Well, this made it easier. Actually, I still have choices, don't I? I think I'm going with just cat and it's really close. There are a lot of different ways to play this one. Playable card. Oh no! If I'm playing a four, which I'm definitely doing here, it should probably be Ancestral Guardian, because I don't plan to play a spell next turn. Your presence offends me. You don't pick the wise. It's a little too bad. Fan of Knives would have been good to catch this guy. Your This is actually correct. And I don't believe I should trade the 4 1 into a 1 2. So we'll hold that. No deal on this trade. No deal. to spend two mana on the dagger this turn, probably. Unless I want a Smug Senior with a Broom. Send 2-3 into 1-2, Smug Senior into 2-2, two, two, Broom into 2-1, get a bunch of damage. Alright. We'll be fine. It wasn't that Already dead. Quickly. No need to worry. That a lot. Potion of Illusion also very tempting. Look at all that good potion. I believe I like Deadly Poison as an early game card. Keep. Got my uh, worst card in the deck. I believe you will be played for the first time in this game. Uh, Silver Moon Guardian, actually, decent card against Priest. Blessings to you. Hail, friend. Ooh. That's really good against Priest. Got something to hide? Keep your thoughts to yourself. 
Ooh. Reasonable fan of knives here. Is on curve. Sure. Justice is mine. There's a very small bonus potential value here, which is if I don't play anything for that thing to rush into. Uh, Silver Moon Guardian counts a little bit. What about this? 2-3, uh, that would be a really good target. The Silver Moon Guardian, though. Don't think Silver Moon Guardian is a great target for him. Yep. Fireball looks really good. Okay. Uh, yeah, poking this is probably good. Next turn, we'll probably be rolling Fireball. That will be quite good. And the only question is, do I coin out a two drop right now? Or actually coin- oh, coin out ambush. Yeah. Got big cards coming. So I'll probably go seven, eight, and nine. Like wisp, you right so where does the magic come from? Oh man, Shadow Madness Nightmare. One damage. Interesting. Why? Why would you deal one damage right there? Well, I can't think of the reason why, but I do think it's important to take a moment to think about why. One Tyrant Broom is going to sweep him up. Oh, 2-1 poison against 4-9. That's, uh, that's heartbreaking. Tyrant will be pretty brutal. Brutal! Saving my uh, broom with the pointy stick woman. Do I have lethal? 6, 7, 10, 13, 14, 18, 21. I can spend 6 damage on that thing. Definitely have lethal. 4, 7, 10, 11, 16, 19. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, The early game in the deck, I feel like very confident in just mulliganing that Scorpion now. Meow 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 
I don't remember when the Fairy Dragon card back was. I think that's a month thing. One of the months. Justice is mine. Oh. <laughs> It's a little bit interesting to think about he decided to coin out the Dragon Breeder before the imprisoned Felma. We'll deep dive into the hunter's head into why he did that. 2-3 to kill a free 1-2. I mean, that's why. Probably going to Deadly Poison. Uh, take five, play a Hippo. Nice job, Candle Taker. You did six damage and you got rid of a Storm Hammer. But basically, I can play Delinquent and kill the 5 4. The other play is Deadly Poison and play a Hippogriff. The Hippogriff is basically pointless. But my Dagger Up is pointless if I do that play. The Hippogriff is never pointless, it deals 2 damage. Can't kill it immediately. It's important for mana efficiency that I don't uh, take advantage of the fact that I already spent 2 mana for this hero pair. Anyways, the original instinct was right, but the draw came up a little bit interesting, such that there was maybe another path. I think the opponent didn't have a good way of dealing one damage, so therefore I should steal two health from the Vile Fiend. He's gonna save 3 health for a 1 1. I'm going to keep my 3 1 hidden. And they'll save the weapon. I think it would only be right to hit with the weapon if I thought I could kill him next turn, which is very unlikely. Hate for that to be a pack tactic. Hmm, I actually forgot about the porcupine. Looks like I'm gonna be one damage short. Oh. No, wait, I have it. I almost like this card enough to keep it. It's not that good. I 
Fishy flyer, you are my spirit animal. Whatever. Justice is mine. Who cares about seven damage from a silly priest? You know the You fell right into my trap. I get to this side. Yeah, I think killing that and still having it live is worth keeping my weapon in my hand here. Ooh, that's a good card. Uh, let's see. Does it matter that much that this will be at 1 health instead of 3 health? Mm, not enough. It's like, yes, there are answers, but if he has an answer, I keep my 3 attack weapon. I think the payoff is worth... Fast pick. And then didn't play it. Misclick? Already dead. I'll cash that in. We'll be fine. It wasn't that We'll be fine. It wasn't that big. I think I should play a slow card here, and I think I should turn in my weapon. So that I can read dagger. So three plus three plus one then. This gets uh this gets value in killing while using the maximum amount of health. It's pretty good. Send this in first no matter what. Wow, that's a good one. I think there's a lot of different ways to play out this trade. That, that'll be my trade. I didn't want to use the mummy because the mummy leaves a 3-1, and it's best to use both charges of the Restless Mummy Rush. And then I wanted to use this health while it was at full health. So it felt like playing a slow card was best. Open yourself up to magic. Ooh. 5, 6, 7, 11. I do want to play a spell right now to activate that, but it seems hard to do that. I don't really need the combo card. Time for a polymorph of Dance sadness. Actually, do I have lethal even without it? He's gonna get seven health, or four health, from my rushing vagrant. And then I have to send one there. I have four, nine, eleven. So if he's at seven or under, I win. He looks like he's at seven, so rechecking math. Eleven, five, nine, eleven. Cool. Oh, also I missed one. So it would have been fun. The Sparrow Cat has been uh, pretty insane. Really good when it starts in your opening hand, of course. Meow. Cartoon isn't actually very good against Priest, but... Morale, anyways. I have drained 
I'm not a huge fan of burning resources on overconfident orc. Couldn't think of a better answer though. Fan and knives considered, but I think having the three one trade into any of my stuff here is fun. You don't pick the By moon and spear. All right, now we got fan value, fantastic value. <laughs> Two three poisonous against the two five is gonna be really good too. Oh, maybe even better on the one five. Oh. All right, stealthy crew go. Five two into one five is really good. Blah. Oh, do I have an answer? No. Protect guys? Guess that's about it. Oof. That is a good initiation target. Uh-oh. This priest is a pretty tough one. Ah, oh, that powered shield was really good. I think Pick Croc List this turn is therefore wrong. We've got some, uh, quite a lot of late game value still in this deck. Hopefully, uh, their priest spells are trash. Reborn is, uh, fine. I play the Crocolisk right now. Poke the thing with the one attack. Oh wow, that gets spell burst back, I'd forgotten. Okay, it's a good card. Pretty good. Wah. Wah. Well played. Well played. Smart moves. I concede. Silver Moon Guardian, congratulations. You're on the team. They're on the opening lineup. Incredible. Only because I have exactly this hand. You did it, Silver Moon Guardian. This is how. <laughs> this is how, when you look up the stats, sometimes Silver Moon Guardian isn't mulliganed from your hand.
Yeah, I should probably trade to prevent Hand of a Doll. I guess. I mean... I want to be greedy and get another 3 damage, but the opponent did coin out the 2 drop, so... My 1 drop traded for a coin and a 2 drop. That's good. I hadn't realized it was just mentioned. I do, in fact, have every single Skullman's Spooky Boy. Sneaky Delinquent, Fishy Flyer, and Smug Senior. We have all of them. kind of lame. I mean, that's good, but it's no, it's no evocation. Rough turn for me. I mean, good turn for him, which is rough turn for me. It's good to hit big things. It's good to remove this. Can I remove all of them? 10 health, I have 3, 4, 7, 9, 12 removal. Could also just freeze this thing. And I don't have to deal with the, uh, the 3, 4 the next turn. I kind of wanted to use the Divine Shield while, you know, the 5-3 is there, but looks like the Divine Shield might be useful. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Not easy to deal with the 3-4, so I shouldn't try. We just leave the 3-3 up there, because it's too much work to kill. I actually should have stabbed that 5-3 with my weapon. I didn't see the 7-5 uh, trade being that good. But then again, there's not that much wrong with leaving that also. It's debatable. I think we just go face with everything. Basically, this thing is too much work to kill. So I would be counting on drawing a card that was 6 or lower cost. Pit Crocolisk also still wins, so I just need to miss Cursed Vagrant and Twin Tyrant. And if I hit one of those cards, I'm still pretty happy in theory. Silvermoon Guardian has, uh, has lived quite some time. But I mean, it's just one mana more Scarlet Crusader. Finished him just at the end of my card capability. Sorry, uh, I was 
muted. I was just saying, sorry, Silver Moon Guardian. You get the toss this time. Womp womp. No, one, three, four. Oh, and also, it's Papa Uther here. It's a pretty good start, Uther. Hmm. I wonder if he's actually going to get the buff. Wow. Amazing. Nice. Justice is mine. Okay. Decision. 3 1 does deal with 2 3. Or. Deal with it in a bit. I think I will. Go for the slow answer. Wow, these cards suck. I hate to trade my ambush into a sneaky delinquent. I hate it so much that I believe it's time for a cram session instead. No, just hero power. Yay. Actually, I should poke this. Justice yeah, poke. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. Oh my god. We know what I'm looking for. Womp womp. Justice is mine. I refuse to trade my 3 1 into a 1 1. Yeah. We don't win games by making those kinds of trades. Okay, opponent's got quite a lot of cards on me. Also got the health advantage, but at least I will have the board advantage, the tempo advantage going into the next turn. I must move quickly. Pretty incentivized to use the dagger, but pretty incentivized to play the six drop. Poke, poke, poke. Yeah. Got six mana. I'll value the freeze at zero. But almost zero value onto the one one freezers, I mean. Alright, is there any way that I can get some spell damage. Fishy Flyer are actually pretty good here. I'll do this trade. Alright, Spooky Hand. It's not necessarily that I couldn't take 5 either, it's just that it was very mana efficient to play a 4 and a 3. We'll take six to get through this, sure. I, wonder. I really want to play an ambush going to these big boy turns. Poke. Poke. Justice is mine. Poke. At the end here, we got some last minute cramming to do. Right into my trap. Two, five, six, seven damage. What could be in here? Score. Three, four, five, and then five. Yep, that looks good.
think he would appreciate seeing this over getting killed by the 5-2. I don't know. It's hard to say which one's better, good manners or bad manners. Wow, we got some golden portrait opponents here. However, I also have 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Uh, nice hand. The opponent kept two cards in their hand. So I am inclined to believe that they have a two drop, therefore I should begin with the one one. Death is so I don't know if he possibly had a two drop there. Seems unlikely. Taking it slow with my coin as always. I thought about coining out Fiendish Servant because Seems really unlikely he would be able to afford a hero power. But okay. Wow, what two cards did you keep? Huh. Really, really good mid-game cards. Probably. I think I play all three of these cards. This card is better with friends. Oh, what about that one? Yeah, I like that. Gotta keep an eye on these two cards, like, I know I kept- he kept them, which means they're really good. And usually you would keep early game cards. So, they must be game changer middle game cards, probably. Because you wouldn't even keep AoE. Every single turn that he passes not playing them makes me very suspicious. Okay, here comes one of those cards. He chose to f oh, Firebrand. Yeah, that's a good card. This is actually kind of good for me. It's missing a lot of the value. Wait, what? Oh. Wow, that was really good. It didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, Into Servant on an open board seems really good. Five health is a lot. Hmm. I missed it on the rush part, but it looked like the other cards weren't really necessary. Honestly, this isn't good. Uh, very vulnerable to small AoE. But if he doesn't have small AoE, th this is a pretty good setup. A charming composition. Oh, I wanted this to get devolved. Eh. Okay, we need evocation. <laughs> or puzzle box of Yogg-Saron. I'll take one of those. We need some sort of massive value thing. And dodge polymorph. Is it cold in the shadows? Two, three, six, seven. I'm definitely always playing deadly. Two, three, four. Which means I'm always playing one thief. Which means I'm almost always playing Candle Taker. Plunger is culling, that's value. It's a lot of value. Justice is mine. We would like to play that on a 7-1 Cursed Vagrant. I think I just ignored the 8-8. Get my dream conjurer's calling. Ooh, I like that. I don't like this. But we can fix that. Well, that's pretty good. Alright. Wait, oh my god, if I had a third spell, I could cast it for one. I don't, though. Do I have lethal next turn? I should probably just hit him. What to do? 
Sad thing is, Frost Nova would just win the game for him. He hits me for 9 2 terms in a row. Oh, he's going for conjures, isn't he? A flurry of activity. I've got 10, 11, 12, 13. That looks like a pretty good play by him. Alright, let's see your random 7 cost. Womp womp. Uh, I think I can afford to take 4 here. Spell damage minion, dragon... Um, pen flinger. Yeah, it's not very scary. We can go all in here. Justice is mine. We basically have to, so to say. We will hold the Black Temple. You must cleanse the Sunwell. Do I have 17 damage on the board? 7, 8, 11, 12, 15, 16, 20, yes. That was a good draw. It's Golden Mecha Jaraxxus. None can escape my fury. I will keep Scorpid as I am on the coin, and I have a 2 drop into a 3 drop. This looks like a good curve. Eh, alright. I was thinking, do I want to just throw my 1-1 one, one away to that 1-3? It's like no, but I'll play it. So where does the magic come from? Oh. You don't pick the ones. I mean, ooh, but <laughs> this is actually terrible for me because I planned to coin out a four drum. Yeah, I'm not changing my play for Jibberling. Huge bait there. Fun fact, Warlock is actually in Arena. Right now, it is the top class in terms of win rate. Okay, 5-2 into 2-5, that's good. Hero power the 2-1, that's good. 3-5 of the 1-2, that's decent. Great. That'll be a play sneaky. Yep. Hmm. Okay, got a good 6 drop. That 5-2 has nowhere good to go. Might just stay stealthed. Also might hit me in the face. I believe using this spell, using this divine shield on the 5-5 five five is a good deal. And then the 3-1 into the 5-2 is a good deal. 5-6 against 5-2 seems okay. It looked like I'm in a tougher spot health-wise. But I do need to kill him because, you know, he's got life tap. Life tap outscales me. So I shouldn't just take those trades. I wonder if I should have gone face there. Using the Divine Shield while I can is good, but I don't think he realistically had a way to get rid of the Divine Shield. That's probably the last trade I do. The last, you know, 
happened last. Uncertain in value trade. Oh, nice fan. Really good fan. Oh, Jibberling Top? Cool. value just gained there, probably. Oh my god. Okay, so as soon as I kill that, he's getting two, six, um, cost eight eights in hand. But not exactly anything I can do about that. But, I do know that the highest cost card in that hand is 6. It's a little bit of extra info that all of these are 5 or under. You wouldn't risk tying it up, probably. Oof. And now that the giant is 5, he's choosing to play a card over the 5 giant, I think? I don't believe he would have risked the tie, so I think those are all 5 or under. Let's see, um, the giant now costs four. He's going for some mega combo. The Hailbringer should be really good to freeze the giants. I don't have enough board space though. We'll be fine. I think the opponent's going to win. The big goal here is, can he clear the board this turn while also playing his 288s? That's the big question. This is a good card to see. Because that's not a very good Oh. Hmm. Oh! He was under too much pressure to play the Giants. That's a really good sign for me. It's pretty close. At the last second there, I did briefly consider just going Deadly Poison still in the 6 drop. Or I mean the 7 drop. Oh my god, he replaced his hand of soul giants with random demons. Alright, we're good. We did it! With one win to spare! I actually don't know if I had a dragon speaker. Can that offer do buckets? Oh! 